Today we're going to read about humans are animals. Humans are people like you and like me, but no two are the same, as you are. See, all humans have bodies from head down to toes, but each one looks different. Isn't that so? Animals come in all colors, sizes, and shapes. Some have big ears and brown hair, like this ape. Some have a tail or wings; they can flap. And some float in water when taking a nap. Animals look different from you and from me, but we are all animals, as you shall see. You are an animal. This dog is too. Yes, you are an animal, but you don't have a furry body like some animals do. You are an animal. This owl is too. Yes, you are an animal, but you don't have orange eyes like some animals do. You are an animal. This elephant is too. Yes, you are an animal, but you don't have a long trunk like some animals do. You are an animal. This bird is too. Yes, you are an animal, but you don't have a pointy beak like some animals do. You are an animal. This rabbit is too. Yes, you are an animal. But you don't have long ears like some animals do. Wait, just a minute. Let's play another game. Instead of how animals are different, how are animals the same? Use your eyes to look at each animal's face. Our senses of sight let us look all over the place. Cats and puppies, gerbils too, use two eyes to see. Just like you, pigs use their noses to sniff and to smell. Humans use their noses to smell as well. Sharks have sharp teeth to chop and chew. Humans use teeth to eat their food too. Arms help koalas and humans climb trees with strong hands and arms. They hang from branches with ease. Your hands and fingers help you pick up a ball. Chimpanzees have hands too, and ten fingers in all. Flamingos' two legs are narrow and long. They use them to wade in wet lakes and ponds. You have two legs that move and that bend, and just like flamingos, you have feet. On the ends, there are all kinds of animals that live and that grow. We are all animals, isn't that so?